Hello. In this time, we will create a simple poison bubble using depth fade material. First, create a material. To create objects that require some form of transparency, set blend mode as translucent. Next, to output only emissive value without lighting and shadow, set shading model to unlit. Create a depth fade expression that can hide the seams that occur when translucent and opaque objects overlap. To adjust translucent value of objects, create and connect a constant node to opacity. Then, convert it into a parameter to see the change in real time. To adjust opacity value in seam area with the distance value, create a constant node and connect it to fade a distance. Next, convert the constant node into a parameter. To create a bubble, create a Fresnel that can express the edge area of the sphere and multiply it with depth fade. Connect the particle color as shown in the video to change the color in a particle system. Create a material instance to change the value of depth fade in real time. Then place the sphere on the map and adjust it to the desired value as shown in the video now. Let's create a Niagara system. To create sphere-shaped particles, change Sprite Renderer to Mesh Renderer and insert Sphere Mesh and Bubble Material as shown in the video. Create a spawn rate and enter the desired value. Change the mesh scale to random uniform and enter the desired value in order to create bubbles in various sizes. And in order to adjust the time each particle is maintained, enter the desired value in lifetime. To spawn the bubbles on the circular floor, create a shape location and change it to a cylinder. And change the cylinder height to zero to make it only spawn on the floor. And to give the effect that the bubble gradually grows and then bursts, a scale mesh size is created and the graph is set as shown in the video. Finally, in order to change the color, create a color and set the desired color. When you place the Niagara created on the map, you can see that the poison bubble effect was created. 